everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra, this little girl is Shiva, and it looks like she wants to help me with my intro today. If you are new here, I am a married mom of two small boys, and I'm currently quarantined at home. I do normally work full time, but now that everyone is pretty much stuck at home, we are all cooking a million times a day, it feels like, and I only have a set amount of recipes that I can cycle through before we're all tired of it. So when one of my subscribers, at Amber's Trendy Thoughts, messaged me and asked me to try out Yumble, I jumped at the chance. Yumble, I'm gonna read from the website, is a weekly subscription service that delivers fully prepared, balanced, and delicious kids' meals right to the doors of busy parents. So basically, they are refrigerated, like microwavable meals that have zero guilt because they're actually healthy. Even if these are the healthiest and easiest meals on the planet, if my kids don't eat it, it won't even matter. So I wanted to try these out for a week and see what we thought. So I tried the eight meal package. You basically get eight meals for $5.99. They also have a four meal option and a 12 meal option. And when we got the box in the mail, I noticed that one of the meals was not actually sealed all the way. And this made me really concerned. This was my first impression of this delivery service. So I actually got on the website and I was able to like chat with somebody instantly and they were so quick to respond. They were so quick to respond. Not only did they refund me for that meal, they are also going to be giving me a free meal in my next box. Which, spoiler alert, I've already ordered another box. So this week, we tried all eight of those meals, and this is how it went. The meals do have different it's age groups, but I can't tell by looking at them which is which. Today, it doesn't really matter because they're both eating the same thing, but if they choose different meals, I'm not quite sure how I would figure out whose or whose. All right, let's see how, how to make them. Maybe it's by the number of, ch of chicken nuggets. Oh. Well, no, they both have four chicken nuggets. And it has the same amount of macaroni. All right, let's see how to cook it. Pierce plastic seal in microwave for 60 to 90 seconds. Carefully remove tray, discard seal, and enjoy. It sounds pretty simple, but I think the proof will be in how much they actually eat. I pulled a little bit of the food aside because I want to give it a try. And I think when AJ said that the chicken nuggets were squishy, like the breading on it wasn't crunchy. Normally when we make chicken nuggets, and put it in the air fryer so they get really crispy. And putting them in the microwave just doesn't make them that way. So let's see. I think as far as the nugget goes, pretty good. I agree with AJ. It would have been better if I would have made them in the air fryer. And that's something I can definitely do in the future. Let's try gluten-free mac and cheese. I can't tell what that flavor is. I think the mac and cheese is fine. I mean, if I was a kid, I'd probably eat it, but it doesn't taste like Kraft mac and cheese, and that might be kind of what he's searching for. This is what is left of their plates. We can obviously tell that the chicken nuggets were winners, but the organic gluten-free mac and cheese was just not it. Today we're gonna do the perfect pizza bagel and veggies. Again, I can't quite tell whose is whose. Maybe when we get into it, I don't know why they had me choose ages if they were exactly the same. We are gonna do the pizza bagels in the air fryer, and then we'll do the veggies in the microwave. And I'm gonna try to sneak in some of that mac and cheese from yesterday and see if we can get them to eat it. Oh eat it again today. Okay, I'm just gonna pop them in there. And usually french fries is good. Leave it in there for a few minutes and I will be back. They are done. I think they look pretty good. And they got crispy, which is I think pretty important. I'm gonna cut these in half. I put the mac and cheese and then the veggies. I'm gonna plate them and I will let you know what the boys think. AJ, what do you think? I think the corn and peas are good. And this is a bit spicy from the pepperoni. The pepperoni spicy? Yeah, a bit. But how does the cheese and the bagel do it? Does it help make it less spicy? Yeah. That's good. Do you want me to order this one again? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. All right. And I will show you their plates when lunch is over. I, these were so good, but I swiped the these look like I wanted to swipe these. But how is the pizza? Good. And how were the vegetables? Good. Are you done or are you still eating? I'm done. You're all done eating? Yeah. Actually, I'm still eating. 
Oh, actually, you're still eating? I like food that you eat. I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to give it a try and see what my sophisticated adult palate thinks of these bagel bites. So chew right there. The vegetables are good. They've got a little bit of a bite to them. They're not mushy. I appreciate that. They don't taste canned. So now we'll try this bagel. Okay, I like it. The sauce is a little sweet, but putting it in the air fryer made the pepperoni like crispy. So I think that's really nice. I don't think I would have liked this in the microwave. I think it is much better in the air fryer. I think today was a success. This was Charlie's plate. He ate almost everything. He and AJ just had a little piece left and a little bit of the mac and cheese. But other than that, I think they did really good. How's that green bean? Thumbs up or thumbs down for the green beans? Thumbs up from Charlie. Thumbs middle for AJ. All right, now Barley Bear. This is a cheese ravioli. My favorite is <gasps> cheese and meat. You like it? Take a I bite. I like it. Mmm. All right, what do you think of the ravioli? Side. Side. Well, we will come back and see how the, how the plates look at the end of dinner. I'm gonna try one of these raviolis to see what I think. I actually think they're pretty good. Yeah. Um, a lot of times, I think the pasta can get mushy. The pasta still has a you nice bite to, to it. You have to put your thumb up. Oh, I have to put my thumb up? I'm gonna say the raviolis are good. thumbs up. Yeah. I think this is a really good Fun meal. Side. We'll see how much they actually eat. They're in a mood right now, so I don't Bum, know if I believe 100% what they're saying. Just real quickly want to say that it is Sunday, so if I want to bask in my Carol pajamas, don't judge me. I don't apologize for that joke. That joke was gold. This is Charlie's plate. He actually did really good. He only has like one ravioli left, but he like slurped out all the cheese. I Big Brother did not eat nearly as much. However, I think the day has been kind of off for him. On this day, it was Mother's Day, so when I say AJ was not 100%, I find that a lot of times during like holidays or special occasions when things are a little bit different or out of the ordinary, my children can have you know, some issues with food and eating and behavior, and it's completely normal. He's a six-year-old with emotions, and he's not in school, and everything's different. So I just try to give him the grace that I would want he didn't love this meal, but Charlie did. So I do know not every meal is going to be loved by both boys equally. It's a trial and error. Good morning. It is Monday morning at 8.30. And it is time for their final meal. This one is a breakfast. Turk sausage links with a cheese omelet. The boys also wanted to try these bites. So cut it open. Put it in the microwave. 90 seconds. Right, Charlie, you want to try it? Mm -hmm. Alright, take a bite. Let me know what you think. You like it? Was it thumbs up? You guys are eating the turkey sausage right now. And then the other thing that's on your plate is egg with cheese. Is that good? Yeah. Alright, now if you want to try that snack popper and see if that's any good. No snack popper? Alright, you try it. AJ, you getting covered by a plant. There he is. So would you want me to order this one again? Uh-huh. I could eat five sausages. Yeah, let me taste it and see what I think. Yeah, that sausage is good. Try the egg. This, no, this is good. Thumb up. Thumb up. For an egg cooked in the microwave, it's actually still really good. So I think this breakfast was awesome. And I'm not a morning person, so if I can pull out a healthy breakfast out of the refrigerator and only cook it for 30 seconds or 90 seconds, I think I could eat all this. That's a win for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. I have a personal goal of 300 subscribers by my 30th birthday, which is on June 5th. I know that it is a hefty goal. A lot of really fun videos coming out. I'm really excited about doing a fun surprise unboxing for my 30th, as well as some plant subscriptions, some workout things, and a whole bunch of other 
crazy things I'm excited to try. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and wash your hands. And I now need to wash this shirt. Do you see how, do you see all this fur? What are you doing to me?